This poem is called Blind Eric and Albert and Me. Blind Eric had lived a small factory life in the mills and the workshops of Lanx, paper converters and solvent distillers in the valleys of Irwell, the Roch and the Kroll, never took to the dark with his brothers in pits full of labourers, hewers of coal. But what changed it all was seeing a man fall in an instant of shock and confusion. A tank let into the floor of sodium hydroxide solution. In those days an uncovered tank like that was not so very unusual. There's a famous seaside place called Blackpool that's noted for fresh air and fun. And Mr and Mrs Ramsbottom went there with young Albert their son. A grand little lad was there Albert all dressed in his best quite a swell with a stick with an horse's head handle the finest that Woolworths could sell. It's hard to recall when I was a kid in my smoky industrial town you saw injuries, scars and deformity from machines and rollers and twenty-ton presses and metal poured molten to moulds. Old men of my grandfather's age in the streets by fear and by northern conformity not to be rude or to stare or to mention and along with a myriad of others we just had to learn life and acceptance of hard things, the same as our fathers and mothers. Now Albert had heard about lions, how they was ferocious and wild. To see Wallace lying so peaceful, well, it didn't seem right to the child. So straight away the brave little fella, not showing a morsel of fear, took his stick with the horse's head handle and shoved it in Wallace's ear. Blind Eric was blind in one eye, in truth. He'd rushed to the tank, standing open, hearing the yell as his workmate fell before any word had been spoken. The victim, immersed in the soda, was thrashing and died of the shock, so they say. A splash had gone up into old Eric's face. He too was unlucky that day. Then Pa, who had seen the occurrence and didn't know what to do next, said, Mother, yon lion et Albert! And mother said, "E, I am vexed. So the manager had to be sent for. He came and he said, What's to do? Pa said, Yon lions et Albert, and him in his Sunday clothes too. Then mother said, Right's right, young fella. I think it's a shame and a sin for a lion to go and eat Albert. And after we'd paid to come in. I remember myself, and it makes my blood cold, when a teenager I worked in a mill by the Lees, where I had to take samples, a tin on a string, from a tank at 130 degrees. What lay inside would fry you and drown you, and the stirrer would batter you too. An unthinkable way for a young man to die. But nobody fell in, it's true. And then, when the new engineer arrived, keen on health and safety at last, they welded a grating over the four-foot hole, and that danger was thankfully past. But it slows us down, loading the melter, they said. It's just like posting blank letters. I've removed the foul word from the sentence above to spare my juniors, elders and betters. <laughs>